Hey guys, what is going on? It's Don here from Nova Spirit Tech and welcome back to the channel. And I finally got my missing piece to the 2.5 gigabit ethernet budget setup. So let's get started. Now, before I begin, I do want to thank Sabrent for sending me over the 2.5 gigabit ethernet adapters USB 3.0 or USB-C with this adapter to make this all possible because the computers do also need their own 2.5 gigabit ethernet connections. And the missing piece that I was actually waiting for was this 2.5 gigabit switch from QNAP. Now, this is by far the cheapest five port switch that you can get that supports 2.5 gigabits. Now, last but not least, we have our TSX53D, which is our two bay 2.5 gigabit NAS. And that is something I reviewed a couple of weeks ago, which I'll leave a link on the top left for you guys. Everything we talk about will be linked down in the description below. Now that is an optional piece that is not needed to upgrade your entire network, but it is nice to have some ability to share the files between the computers without having to leave an actual computer on. Now the reason why I went 2.5 gigabit instead of a five gigabit or a 10 gigabit, it's because of the price range. Not only do I not have to upgrade all my network cables because 2.5 gigabit works with Cat 5e as well as Cat 6 and you know so forth and so forth, the router is cheap as well as the adapters. So adding this whole thing up, being that this is a $99 switch and uh, about $35 for each connector, for under $200, I've essentially doubled my home network without having to run additional or brand new cables like you would if you needed to upgrade to five gigabits or 10 gigabits. Now, obviously you can share files between two computers or remote desktop even better. Or if you're gonna do like some gaming where you're, where you're streaming your screen from one computer to another, this is a killer. From what I really benefit from is having this NAS because this NAS will actually allow me to edit videos actually right off my NAS and right off the network without having me to store it on my desktop itself. That's why I say this was an optional piece because you don't really need it, you know, for this connection, but it does help to serve something. Now the QNAP switch is super easy to set up. It's setting up like any other switch. You plug in the power in the front and then you just plug in your network cables and that's it. Anything that's green means it has 2.5 gigabit ethernet connection and anything that's orange is one gigabit. Hooking up the USB adapters was also super easy, very painless. You just plug it into the back of your computer with a USB three slot and that's it. Now this is the transfer speeds that I'm actually getting from my Windows machine to the NAS itself. And you could see transferring over to the NAS, I'm doing about 280 megabits per second. Now on the reverse side, when I'm retrieving files from the NAS, you could see it's actually going up and down, stays around like 280, then drops down to like 250, 240, then goes back up. So it has this little, it's not as smooth as it is when I'm uploading, but well, this is still double my gigabit ethernet speed. Now I've also installed this onto my laptop with the USB-C connector and plugged everything up. And instead of transferring files, I did something a little bit different. I installed iPref 3 on the QNAP NAS as well as on my laptop, which is so much easier than installing it from Windows. And as you can see, I am getting the 2.5 gigabit ethernet adapters recognized and I am performing something different than I would on my Windows machine which is iPref3 and I've set that up on my QNAP and when I run the command you could see I am getting about 2.35 gigabit ethernet speed which is near the 2.5 of what I want. It is a little bit slower, not sure why, but I am achieving double my gigabit ethernet speed. That's all I care about right now. In conclusion, uh, it was super easy to set up. All I had to do was just plug these adapters into this computer, my laptop, as well as my desktop to get the 2.5 gigabit ethernet. And I didn't have to run any new cables because the Cat5e or the Cat6 that I have running around the walls works perfectly fine. So all this was actually a very painless setup. And that's why I call this the budget setup because I was actually able to double my network speed and it cost me under less than $200. Anyway, if you guys have any questions about this, Hit it down in the comments below. If you guys are new to this channel, consider subscribing. Also hitting that bell notification icon so you know when the next video is going to be out. And as I say in my nerd cave, hack till it hurts.